So Ms. DC said, if your uh, utilization is high with Navy Federal, would you consider getting a platinum credit card or try to get um, the utilization down? What I'm going to say, it really depends. So I would say, wait on getting a credit card if your utilization is high so that we can get any credit card whenever we want. Like we don't, we want to get the credit card we want. That's how I feel. Like I don't want to be doing late night hacks and all this kind of stuff. I just want to apply for credit cards when I want to apply for credit cards. So that's why I'm more of a proponent of getting my credit repaired, you know, doing right by my credit. So with our utilization, the fastest way for us to increase our credit score is by tackling our utilization. So we want that to be 30% or lower because our utilization is 30% of our credit score. And so if your utilization is high, then that's why our credit score is going to be kind of low. And then the payment history is 35%. But see, with our payment history, once we get those late payments on our credit report, it's really hard to get those off. And those are going to stay. So that's why I usually say, if you want to increase your credit score fast, tackle your credit utilization. But in the instance of Miss DC's question, the only reason why I would consider getting the Navy Federal Platinum credit card is if I was going to do a balance transfer since I have high utilization. So I would probably, let me share my screen again. Okay, with the, with the Navy Federal Platinum credit card, right now what they have is um, you can transfer your non-Navy Federal balances within 60 days of getting the Navy Federal Platinum card, and you'll pay 0.99% interest. And so that is really low interest. And so I think that's the only reason that I would probably get the Platinum card. Or if I, you know, when I'm using my credit card, if I don't pay the credit card off, I would consider getting a Platinum credit card because y'all look at this interest rate, 8.99% to 18%. Like this is the lowest interest rate on the Navy federal credit cards. And so if I was to carry a balance, I would consider getting a platinum credit card. Hopefully you can get the 8.99% and that's going to be like over 50% lower than any of the other credit cards. Because, you know, most of the other credit cards, even like for myself, with my Chase Sapphire Preferred, I believe my interest rate is 26%. With my Discover It, I think my interest rate is about 19%, 19.99. So even with the with, with the um, Discover It, that's pretty much over 50%. So if you're going to carry a balance, I would rather carry a balance with the interest rate low so it's not eating up um, the payment. And so that's what I would consider in that instance planner. And I'm just so excited about this digital budget planner. And so it is 76 pages. And with this digital planner, you have to use it in a note taking app. And so I use OneNote to be able to use this on my iPad. And this is an undated planner. So you can come over here and put your dates in the planner and it has notes and it has to do and you can erase it i really enjoy using this planner and it has different um areas so you have your budget you have your debt repayment you have credit cards you have your notes you have your savings and then you have your index to where you can be able to take a look at everything that the planner has the digital planner is it has a spot for your credit card tracker so i know for myself you know i like to do the credit card utilization hack and so normally that's how i keep up with my credit cards in the digital planner so if y'all are interested in a digital planner Go over to my Etsy shop and it's $25. I definitely appreciate it. It's not a game, sir.